music and Eastern music, in Eastern classical or Indian classical music, treat uh, musical compositions. Um, so this is the Music 101 part of the evening. Uh, so Music 101 for Indian classical is, generally it's improvised, uh, and it's based on the rods, which are the melodic scales. Uh, that was one of the melodic scales. Uh, so in that piece, what we decided to do was essentially do something where I was also following the same rod that Subhadra was doing. And with Indian classical music, the melodies and rhythm are actually very, very highly sophisticated. Um, and that comes at a trade-off. And the trade-off is usually means there's very little harmonic content. Whereas in Western music, um, the rhythms and melodies may not be quite as complex, but as a, result, as a result, they can actually play with harmonies. And we're familiar with that with chord progressions. Uh, everyone knows Louis Louis things like that, right? Three chord songs, things like that. If you think of it, a chord is a series of melodies uh, in tandem. So for this next piece, um, keeping with the East meets West and the sad melancholy affair of the rod, we're going to stick with the same rod, but we're going to now incorporate a little bit of a Western motif, which means uh, it's going to be a challenge more for Subhadra than for me, because I'm going to crowd out her melodic range with some chords. And uh, since it's all improv, you get to hear how good it sounds as we hear how good it sounds. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
inspired by uh, the famous uh, <coughs> devotional bhajan by one of the same composers of India, Mirabai. And uh, it's, uh, <coughs> it's inspired by the song called Hari to Maharo, uh, which some of you may be familiar. In Indian mythology, it refers to the queen, <coughs> the Pandava queen, Draupadi, and how she was uh, uh, publicly humiliated in the in the court by her uh, brothers-in-law, and how uh, Lord Krishna came to her rescue when <coughs> the evil Dushasana was uh, trying to disrobe her, and and as he was um, disrobing and, and and removing her sari, God came to the rescue and sent yards and yards of sari um, when Dushasana just gave up. So this is. Um, we feel intensely about this piece and it's inspired by the Raga Darbari Kannada. And <coughs> again, we will be working together on this piece. If you notice for the previous one, uh, we started off with trade offs, yeah, and then we came together, and so we continue that journey now. Another round of applause. Thank you.